Now this is uh, 3R test number 5, question number 34. Fx is given like this. It's a ratio of two exponential functions. Now the, we are supposed to find the range of this, the values Fx can take for all x belongs to R. Right? So the very first step is we can write 9s3 square and combine the powers of 3. Again, we take out 3 from here and combine with 3 to the power x. Same we do with this as well as this. To write expression like this. And now, we convert this ratio of two exponential functions into a rational function of x by replacing 3 to the power x plus 1 equals to t. So, so th this is how fx is simplified. Or another way to see this is like to find range, we break this as a composite function right where x goes to 3 to the power x plus 1 first and output of 3x plus 1 goes to this block rational function of x right and now you know exponential function can take only positive values 3 to the power x plus 1 if you draw a graph of 3 to the power x plus 1 it can take only positive values so it means the output of the first block say t is only positive Right, so so it means we are feeding only positive values to this block. Now we need to find if we replace positive values with this block, what output it is going to show us, and that will be the range of this of this complete function, like the given function. So now we need so let let's find what output this second block will throw. So so let this be another function. Say say we can assume this to be a GT function. And we need to find what out what values G T can take for positive values of T. Now the the approach that I prefer to use here is to draw the graph of this and see the right half of the graph for T greater than zero. If you draw a graph of this, so and the you know how to draw a graph of this points of intersection with x-axis. There is no point of intersection with x-axis because this quadratic expression is always positive. D is less than zero, so no intersection with x-axis. With y-axis, put t equal to zero, we get four four intersection, right? Uh, four by four, one one is a point of intersection, and then we have a limit x. Uh, t approaches infinity so it's an indeterminate form of the type infinity by infinity if you work that out you get y equals to 1 is the horizontal asymptote again denominator cannot be 0 so there is no vertical asymptote right and if you take derivative of this we get local maximum local minimum we get local minimum at 2 and local maximum at minus 2 right so if you join all these properties this is the graph of this is the graph symmetry about y equals to one line now we have to see the positive part of it we are feeding the positive part t greater than zero we need to find the values this expression can, can take and if the positive part you can see this is the graph and if we find that this local minimum value it comes out to be one by three so we can clearly see if we feed positive values to this block, this block will take values. Now we can say GT will take values. GT belongs to 1 by 3 to 1. So that is the range of this function f. We replace x belongs to r from this side. And the output we get is 1 by 3 to 1. And if you look at the choices, there is we need to mark d here 